hello good morning good afternoon good evening it all depends on where you're watching this tutorial from all right so in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to model um or how to generate vapor pressure curves using aspen heises so like i said the learning objective is to generate vapor pressure curve and the prerequisite is um basic knowledge of aspen heises steady state simulation then also um, introduction to vapor liquid equilibrium then the case study is ethylene so we're going to be generating vapor pressure curve for ethylene now the background of studies is this separation process as we all know um, involves uh, or rather involving vapor liquid equilibrium exploit volatility difference um, which are indicated by the component vapor pressure so higher vapor pressure means a component is more volatile so ethylene is an important monomer for polymers and there are many ethylene plants uh, around the world so a vital step in ethylene production is separating ethylene from other compounds as a result of um, vapor pressure of ethylene so um, basically what we're going to be doing today is to see how we can um, generate vapor pressure curve for ethylene so our pressure statement is to determine the vapor pressure of ethylene at 5 degrees celsius and also um, we are also going to be looking out for uh, the normal boiling point of ethylene at 1 bar and also create a plot of vapor pressure versus temperature so let's go straight to our aspen heises environment so we're going to add our ethylene okay so i'll just type the formula c to h4 so these are ethylene and um our fluid package all right before we add the fluid package let's check um double click on the ethylene um let's click on the critical so you can see the normal boiling point of ethylene is minus 103.8 and the critical temperature is 9.209 so this is the temperature at which above this temperature no matter the amount of pressure you apply to ethylene all right it cannot go into the liquid phase so at this temperature any temperature above this no matter the pressure you apply to ethylene it cannot become liquid all right so let's um take note of this particular um temperature critical temperature as we go straight to the simulation environment but before that let's add um the fluid package so we're going to be selecting pengrobinson if you want to learn how to select the right fluid package for your simulation i would advise you go through the previous tutorials on um, there's a particular tutorial on how to select the appropriate fluid package for your simulation all right so we'll go straight to the simulation environment okay so let's call this um ethylene uh composition one okay so we're given um temperature of a temperature of five degrees celsius so we want to find out the vapor pressure of ethylene at five degrees celsius so for us to be able to do that we're going to assume that um this ethylene is actually at liquid phase so if we are assuming that um if you also go through a tutorial we did on bubble point and dew point calculation this was actually explained very well in our bubble point and dew point uh calculation um simulation still on this channel so you can go back and check while we're adding zero in the phase fraction all right so if you remember your envelope um graph very well we have the the um sub cooled region and the superheated region right so at the sub cooled region the phase fraction is zero so if we are expecting to heat up um a, um, a liquid component then um, the phase fraction is zero that's what it means because we're expecting it to vaporize so if it's already in the vapor phase the phase fra fraction will be one all right so in this case we are assuming we are taking a phase fraction of zero because we want to find out 
the vapor um, pressure of ethylene so what we need to do now is we're giving a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius all right so as you can see the um, the vapor pressure or the pressure is 45.93 so this is our vapor our vapor pressure at a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius all right so if we assume a molar flow rate of 1 kilogram mole per hour um, all the parameters will be calculated all right so now from the problem statement let's look at it from the problem statement said you should determine the vapor um, pressure of ethylene at 5 degrees Celsius so we've already uh, we're able to determine that to be 45.93 bar right so we want to find out the normal boiling point at one bar so we come back to this environment so all i need to do is to remove the five degrees celsius so we want to find out the boiling point at one bar so the boiling point at one bar is minus 104.3 degrees celsius so what this means is that at minus 104.3 degrees celsius it's when we start moving from liquid phase to vapor phase so that's the boiling point so that tells you how volatile ethylene is okay so it simply means that if we have ethylene and all that components mixed together all right there's every likelihood that ethylene will go out first because of its low boiling point or its high volatility as the case may be so now we are going to generate um a plot of vapor pressure for ethylene so how do we do this now we're going to remove the pressure remember that the critical temperature of ethylene is 9.023 degrees celsius so it simply means that any temperature above that we're already in the um, vapor phase right so for us to get the um, f the, the, the vapor, vapor pressure curve that we're looking for now we have to take a temperature that is below the critical temperature so we can take any temperature let's say three degrees celsius as the case may be all right so what we need to do now we need to go to case study we need to go to case study select case study uh click on add once we click on add we come over to find variable so our independent variable is temperature so we're going to add to select temperature add click on done so the dependent variable is pressure so select this pressure so select pressure okay then we come straight to case study setup okay now remember that we've been able to identify the normal boiling point of ethylene at a pressure of one bar okay which is minus 104.3 degrees celsius so we're going to take a temperature range that we cover that okay so what we need to do now we want to find the um vapor pressure of ethylene from a temperature of minus 150 degrees celsius to zero degrees celsius so um minus 150 to zero degrees celsius so you have to select your step size you know what step size is right so we select our step size of 10 degree celsius okay so the next thing i need to do is to click on run so if I click on run, it will automatically calculate the uh, pressure right for each of the temperatures. So if we look at this, these are the results and this is the plot. So looking at this plot, excuse me, I can close this. All right. So now looking at this plot, we can see that the vapor pressure is actually increasing with increase in temperature which shows how volatile ethylene is so ethylene is actually a very volatile um component now this is our our plot 
okay so we've been able to achieve or to actualize the problem statement so we've been able to create a plot of vapor pressure against temperature against temperature now if you also look closely you see that the normal boiling point which is minus 104 104.3 actually aligns with our one bar pressure okay so at one bar ethylene we start um vaporizing at the temperature of minus 104.3 degree celsius okay so this is how to generate uh, a vapor pressure plot or vapor pressure curve with aspen heises so i'll i will indulge you to take your time go through this video again and also practice with all right i also advise you to look at this critically and try to do it yourself and try it with other examples or other real life examples all right that's the only way you can get better using aspen heises i hope you learned something new and um more videos will be coming your way shortly take care and have uh, a great day ahead